Hey guys, how's it going? It's Invicta TV here, and uh, I'm wanting to show to you guys today the inaugural address, which is uh, the energy pulse rifle that you can pick up from the raid. Um, and this weapon, uh, I want to say it's one of the most um, uh, enticing of the options of it uh, with this archetype of pulse rifle. Uh, it does have kill clip on it, that is the major perk to be featured here. Um, but unfortunately it still falls short. But before we get that, before I go into the gameplay of it and show you why it seems to fall short and all that sort of stuff, uh, let's obviously look at the rest of the perks for the weapon. You can see the stats down there at the bottom right side of the screen. But uh, it does feature three different bar barrels. Uh, of course, uh, polygonal rif rifling, excuse me, um, fluted barrel and chambered compensator. Now, these, uh, the top one and the bottom one uh, offer slightly more stability, but honestly, having gone between the two um, uh, top and middle options, it is very clear that the difference of stability is completely negligible, while the handling improvement uh, with the fluted barrel is highly noticeable. So I do end up rocking the fluted barrel. Um, when using this weapon uh, from now on, simply because once more that stability, you're never gonna see it. You're never gonna notice it uh, gone. It's it doesn't change anything about the gun, but the handling uh, it allows you to aim your weapon up faster. It allows you to pull it out faster. It's it's more noticeable and more useful for sure over that tiny amount of stability, especially on this uh, pulse rifle archetype. Uh, and then in the middle column we do have outlaw which precision kills greatly decrease reload time we love that perk in destiny and ambition ambitious assassin overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading i haven't really thoroughly tested this but i can go ahead and say that this is probably one of the most useless perks in pvp specifically because one um typically you don't need this much uh, so much ammo in one magazine you can see that it already has a high uh, magazine size two of 39 especially for this archetype as well as um you won't often get rapid kills in crucible as well as uh if you are running around and you just got a kill and you have any like you have the time to reload you're gonna do so before the next fight you're, you're never gonna sit there with lower ammo counts like and you don't typically ever expend the full mag, especially once more with this pulse rifle archetype, uh, and really just in general, um, you won't really ever be needing a perk like this to help you. Uh, while on top of that, if you finish off with a headshot, which chances are you will, because that's where you'll be aiming, uh, especially for pulse rifles, especially with this archetype, um, you can immediately reload almost, and uh, that obviously becomes much more useful in the long run. So now that we've seen all the perks, of course, let's go ahead and get into that gameplay where hopefully uh, I can I show you guys uh, what you're hoping to see and honestly just how bad this pulse rifle and its archetype uh, truly performs in the Crucible. Alrighty, hopping into some gameplay here. You see me pull it out. Uh, I'm giving it a little test, testing out its stability, uh, seeing its handling, etc. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to, for the next like five minutes, four to five minutes of this gameplay, I'm going to use this weapon almost primarily. Um, and you can see right there, <clears throat> excuse me, that was a pretty good uh, regular kill time, I want to say. It doesn't really get better than that. You saw I hit 30 on my headshots after with kill clip as well. Uh, but I, I think that first kill was a great example of the typical kill time you'll see for the weapon. Um, and, you know, it, that was, it took four bursts worth, which makes it technically above the uh, minimum time to kill for the weapon, which would be if you landed all nine headshots and uh, the max rate of fire, and that would make it, you know, the 1.13 that we had saw earlier. But the problem with that is um, that it's so inconsistent to land. Look at these shots that, you know, I'm more of a, at a long range now. Uh, look at how tough it is to land these shots, not just to aim on target, but for all the bullets to connect. Uh, given certain situations. If I had a Mida on that guy, every time he hopped up, that would have been 44 to the head, which would mean he'd be at basically uh, about 90 points weak right now instead of I hit two 11s for 22 total points. Um, it definitely doesn't support your long range situation. And uh, this is like a good range where it might work best, right there. Um, that was like a me medium range. 
But the thing about it is that you have to be accurate. That assumes you hit all your bullets with it. Uh, and at that range, a weapon like Uriel's Gift, Prosecutor, Zhang Shi, all of those weapons can um, contend much better, much simpler, or much easier uh, than this weapon. And they technically have a higher or faster, it's not higher, a faster time to kill than this weapon does uh, within their ranges. So. Oh, you could see the bullets that kind of magnetize through the wall here. So there is a bit of magnetization still um, with this kind of weapon. If, if that guy jumped into Blink not behind a wall, the bullets would have snapped to his head still. Um, but it. look at this moment right here. This is a great example. So look how tough it is to, to land all bullets of the burst in a very typical engagement. Yes, I did get the kill, but that's because he was moving in and out of the line of fire, and I was able to just keep beaming him down, and he had to try to... Uh, center his aim on my head uh, without the help of aim assist at that angle etc like and that's the only reason why I won that fight it's so tough for me to land all the hits with this gun outside of just medium range even even certain ranges that I'd uh, consider and call medium range this weapon begins to fall very short become uh, begins to not um, provide that time to kill that makes this uh, archetype of pulse rifle seem like it might be better. Um, and this is all assuming, you know, uh, that you can land your hits to begin with, that uh, you do not get knocked off by perhaps high cal and whatnot. You see me swap to uh, a different option. This Honestly, this option, like I said earlier, uh, doesn't increase the, st uh, make the stability worse by any noticeable amount, while the um, uh, handling speed does is very noticeable so it's definitely better to rock this option but yes the, this gun is just it, its stats do not uh, and, and all uh, weapons of this archetype all pulse, pulse rifles of this archetype their stats do not make the gun uh as the, the stats make the gun look prettier than it ever will be and that's such an unfortunate thing maybe things will be a little bit different on pc but unfortunately here on console the gun uh this whole archetype falls very short is very useless. Um, the best you can use it for over uh, another archetype would be for peak shotting, but the problem with that is an archetype like Nightshade will just continue to spray down uh, the corner and let you walk into the bullets that they continue to spray down. While this archetype, um, you know, when you're peak shotting, you that's you, you got to be pinpoint accurate, or, or there's no there's no benefit to it. Um, it's just such a unfortunate situation. It's not forgiving because of the fact that this archetype um, has such a long or uh, long time between its bursts. It's um, and if it's not going to be forgiving like other archetypes are, it needs to have a noticeable kill time difference, which it does not, and it needs to be easy to maximize uh, or to it needs to be easy to make that minimal time to kill. Um, happen as often as possible and unfortunately once more this gun falls short uh, outside of you know closer to medium ranges where this gun wouldn't be the most effective gun to begin with um, and yeah it's just simply not a gun that uh, ends up playing out uh, in, in the situations where it should be most beneficial for. I, I can't imagine what they might have to do for this archetype maybe increase um, its range, maybe lower its stability. It, honestly, if you're going to go with a weapon of similar time to kill, of similar archetype uh, to this one, you would have to go with the Graviton Lance because it has flawless stability. Um, but of course, that banks all the damage on that last bullet, really, and uh, but it, and it's got a ridiculous kick after that last bullet. But it has the exact same time to kill basically as th this archetype, and it's more consistent in a way. Uh, but other than that guys, this is the end of the video, the end of the review. Hopefully you guys um, have seen the inaugural address in action. Uh, I understand that I did not show very often the um, moments of kill clips because honestly, with this gun, it's not uh, very likely that you will be encountering many uh, uh, opportunities to benefit from kill clip simply because this gun uh, doesn't operate in that way. This gun is not consistent enough. You're going to take damage from your fights and you're not going to want to push the next guy. As well as Kill Clip does not um, provide uh, really a noticeable difference in time to kill. Um, making it go from 23 per headshot to 30 per headshot still makes it require three bursts um, to kill the target. Uh, 
it's just the thing that changes is that you can hit more bodies and still get that three burst time to kill. Um, but yeah, without further ado guys, this has been Invicted TV. Hopefully you guys see what I'm talking about with this weapon. And uh, for those that are interested in trying it out, I hope I uh, enlightened you onto what some of the best perk loadout for it is and um, how exactly to use this weapon. Because I think I used it very effective uh, for this um, Only one minute left. game mode, for, this, for the way you're supposed to play with this weapon. And I think this video, uh, this gameplay has demonstrated that. So once more, without further ado, guys, this has been Invicta TV, and I'm out. Bye. If you guys are looking to support my work, please head over to patreon.com slash Invicta TV. You can subscribe for $5 to participate in a monthly giveaway of $50 or more, as well as earn double the chance on trials of Osiris raffles over on my Twitch. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate the support.